So today is a pretty good day. It's really nice weather outside. It's I have a bunch of batteries charging outside. We'll get to that later. I, I, I sent in my two weeks notice for quitting McDonald's yesterday, so I'll be going full-time YouTube. Well, we can talk more about that a lot more. And it's my birthday. I turned 21, so that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, over the past week or two, I've kind of been forgetting to update you guys with the random junk I find. So I have a lot of stuff, a lot of batteries and whatnot that I've gotten that I haven't shown you yet. First up is what I got this Saturday. It's Jeopardy for the Super Nintendo with the box. Normally I wouldn't purchase this, but it's very rare to find Super Nintendo games with their boxes and manuals and everything. Got Half-Life 2 for, a, for $2. That's a pretty good game. Then I picked up some of these nice VHS tape uh, cassette cartridges or containers. Cases, that's what I mean. And then I picked up this. A battery from 1976. As you can see, it's still new in the package, but it's not very new, actually. It's a big bag of corrosion. Yummy. This is where you connect the electrical stuff up to. If we can connect up my power supply, you can see that there's really no power coming from it and if we bring up the voltage it doesn't take any power through it so it means that it's it's not connected up it's broken its connection inside but judging by it I mean that good quarter inch of crusty stuff inside there I wouldn't expect it to have any conductivity oh and I almost forgot I picked this up uh, this uh, last Saturday also it's Roadrunner for the IBM PC. I don't have many original IBM PC games because I have a I have an IBM PC XD I think it might be original IBM PC that, that was just upgraded. But anyway, it was I don't really have that much stuff to do with it, so I'm slowly get, getting more stuff to make a video about someday. I also have the NES version of it from Tengen. It's kind of cool. So I kind of have the complete set of this game. Everybody likes old old copies of electronics magazines. Pretty awesome. A lot of stuff about like record players and whatnot in here. They were just sitting at the laundromat for free. Anyway, so my oh, forgot about this. Pick these up. Some stick electrodes and some cutting electrodes. You remember how whenever I made my 2,000 subscriber sign, I cut using my battery arc welder? Well, I think I can actually use this to cut better. I don't know. But anyway, my grandfather works at a construction company, and they threw away a bunch of packs of nickel metal hydride batteries. Unfortunately, I ripped it open, and they sealed it with epoxy. So I don't know. I'm not so sure what I'm going to do with all these battery packs. Oh, and another good thing I got was this NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. It was only 20 bucks. But I spent six hours recording a video for you guys with this, and I thought, oh, I would use my new camera because it works a little bit better. No. All that footage I recorded was kind of useless now because I, I even went through and did like an EV style thing of showing what each chip on the motherboard did but for some reason this fucking camera messes up the audio like for instance there was one bit where i closed I, where i closed the front and so that little click that sound it saved that sound bite and repeated it so it, the rest of the audio in that video was like that it was that's why I'm, I'm just not going to use this camera for anything but sl uh, slow motion video but i'll put that in the, in the review I might re-edit that video, or I'll probably just remake the video, because, I mean, yeah. I went over to my dad's house, too, because uh, he was going to have cake for me and stuff like that. And it occurred to me, I haven't shown you guys my my room in his basement since I've had, like, 200 subscribers. So that's, like, 4,000 subscribers that haven't probably haven't seen it yet. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of interesting stuff down here. I'll probably start coming over here more often whenever it gets really hot outside since it's really nice and cool down here. But the reason I came down here was because 
I forgot that I I tend to like buy stuff at yard sales and kind of throw it down here if, if it's more like electrical minded than like mechanical stuff. I, I keep the mechanical stuff at my mom's house. But just, just last Saturday I picked this entire thing, box of electronics up and a, a dolly for only $5. I'm going to use the dolly and make a welding cart out of it. And it's a pretty good deal for, for this stuff. DOS 3.3 This computer has been upgraded with 640 kilobytes of RAM Oh Looks like this keyboard is bad Get a different one. Let's see what that does. A 1701 error. Looks like it's good. Because most of the time the hard drive has issues where it doesn't detect right, so it has it usually makes a 1701 error. But it looks like this keyboard's bad, so that's okay. I'm really happy with this monitor. It's a very cute, small size. It'd be great for a portable computer or something. This is kind of fun. So I have to say that game is pretty fun, but I'll review that more later. Can't spend too much time on it for random bits, otherwise it wouldn't be random. I've actually been working on building a video player for this original IBM, and I, I'd probably work up. I'd probably start with a one uh, with like two by two pixels with no audio, and then I would slowly keep at uh, upping the resolution just to see what it can handle. I know, it, uh, I know, like the 8088 corruption program, you can actually have full screen video with audio, but I'll try a little bit sm smaller files that could fit on like a floppy disk. But I have something interesting outside I want to show you guys that's I've had for a while but I haven't really shown you guys. Over here is my car. Now I don't actually drive, but it is my car nonetheless. It was actually my great grandmother's. Or well, actually great grandparents. But I think it was under my great grandmother's name. It's a nineteen eighty two Mercury Zephyr. 
It's a pretty awesome car, too. I'm hoping to convert it to electric. I'm just having trouble finding an, an electric forklift motor. Not actually m much of one for driving a vehicle, because, well, I mean, it costs a lot of money, and it's kind of a waste, because I don't actually have anywhere to really go. But it is my car. All my junk in it. Well, let's look underneath the hood. Underneath we have a straight six engine, which I might be replacing with a well, I'd love to replace it with an electric motor sometime and have some lead, use some of my lead acid batteries and then maybe if, if that works I can make a lithium ion battery pack for it. But it's all here and it works nicely. Only issue is one of the seals on the transmission just have to pull that out and change that. So I've been working on some batteries and then I decided, you know what? I'll just work on all of my batteries. So I, I've been trying to figure out how many batteries do I have and holy shit, I have a lot of batteries. Didn't realize I had this many. These are pretty much all from the recycling skid at Rural King. So they're all dead batteries. They're not dead, but they're, they're all used. About 80% left in them. Except for this one. This one's brand new. So I'd have to say out of all these batteries, how wonderful they are, Probably one sticks out from them all, at least to me. Maybe not very recognizable to you guys, but this battery right here, this has been a big part of my YouTube channel. It's made me about $600. The video I made from it has gotten 200,000 views. I get about 300 subscribers from it. It's still making me about $70 to $80 a month. And I've been thinking about doing some more videos where I like put Mountain Dew and stuff in there and see what kind of what happens. So I'm really glad I didn't trade this battery in for just another dead battery from the recycling skid. It's, it, it's nice to have this one around even though it's kind of useless. It's more like a brick. And this one, I got this deep cycle a long time ago on like random, random bits episode 3 or whatever. It's very interesting. Look at all the corrosion that's building up on the, the positive terminal. It's just so weird. I, I've been letting that grow for several months now. one of those things that I'm just mystified by. What is corrosion? Is it the acid or what? The chemistry behind it is so amazing. It's like a mush. Most likely a lead compound. That also ties into something else that I've noticed with old batteries. The negative terminal, or at least usually the negative terminal, sometimes the positive, always turns like real, turns like really black, like on here. This battery, this terminal has turned really black compared to this one turning white. Hmm, this battery's coming along nicely. I'm trying to get it fully charged. Then I'll be doing a discharge test to see how effective a desulfator is. But well, that's an upcoming video. Now, I also got this stuff, a big five-gallon jar that I don't not I'm not 100% sure what I'll do with it but I might see what will happen to it if I pull a vacuum on it because I hope it could withstand it but I don't know it, it looks it looks pretty old then I got this stuff it's a grinder kit it was like four dollars at the at a local thrift shop let's test it out that's so quiet I was expecting it to be much louder than that. It's a General Electric quarter horsepower. That'll be definitely good for some project. 
But anyway, so I was going to see about... I wonder if this can hold a vacuum. And if it can, I wonder if cutting down the bottom... And I can make a vacuum bell. Because that would be really awesome. Instead of paying like $300 for a large vacuum bell. So as for last week's question of what is this motherboard to... Pretty much all of you got it correct. It is in fact from the Atari 2600. There we go. Now another question regarding... I, this week's question is going to be regarding the Atari 2600. Now this is the model that pretty much everybody is familiar with. But there was a model that had, instead of four switches, it was the very first model. It was this model on the box. What is the name for this original model? Not the later model made, in, made after 1980 that had only four switches. Let me know in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See ya!